an empty Stad Velodrome. Sunday night's much anticipated game between Marseille and Lyon was postponed due to high winds, just as Saturday's game between Sochaux and Evian had to be called off because of the snow. To make up for it, there were goals aplenty in the game between Lorient and Ajaxio, including the first for Adrian Mutu in Ligue 1. The pick of the bunch was this gem from Eduardo, who curled home on the stroke of half-time to put visitors Ajaxio 4-1 up. The Lorient fight back started immediately after the break, with Maxime Bartelme sliding through for Jeremy Aliadier to make it 4-2. And the hosts complete an improbable comeback deep into injury time, as Gilles Sonneau volleyed home to make it 4 all at the final whistle. Christian Gorkouf's analysis. This lack of engagement that we've spoken about for a long time since last year, I'm starting to get tired of it. We're always chasing the game, which is obviously draining. Right now, we're happy to have saved a point, but make no mistake, we lost two points tonight. Bad news for Bordeaux in Bastia, where their 16-game unbeaten run in the championship came to an end on Sunday. Bastia got off to a fine start with the first league on goal for Florian Thauvin after only six minutes. They then found themselves 2 0 up with just over 15 minutes gone. To a Filo Mao leader broke down on the left and powered forward. His shot was parried by Carasso and Tovan was quickest to the loose ball. Bordeaux pulled one back through Rouen Gouffran, but Bastia had the last word with this superb Wabi Kazri free kick in the 56th minute. 3 1 the final score. Delight for the TFC supporters as Toulouse continued their fine start to the season with a 3 1 home win over Brest on Saturday. Toulouse up to second, though coach Alan Casanova spoke about the day's performance in measured terms. It's important to bear in mind our good start to the season, but there's no need to look any further than that. I think that we had a first half where we looked to have made some real progress, then a second half which showed there's still plenty of work to be done. Indeed, Toulouse got off to a fine start when the returning Wissam Ben Yedder jinked past Ahmed Kantari and thrashed home his seventh goal of the league and season. Just before half time, they made it 2 0 when Etienne Capou's header drifted in off Kantari. Some sloppy defending in the second half allowed Brest to pull one back, Benoit Luzwamier firing home from inside the area. But Toulouse had the final word with Adrian Regatin, who pounced on this loose ball, streaked away and chipped over Alexis Thibault to make it 3-1. Champions Montpellier finally claimed a home win this season, thanks to some charitable defending from Nice. Lloyd Pelin setting Suleiman Kamara away to open the scoring. Montpellier then made it 2-0 in the 64th minute, when Remy Cabela slid through for John Utaka. Three minutes from time, more calamitous defending from Nice gifted the hosts a third as Renato Givelli headed past his own keeper, Joris Dell. 3-1 the final score. Merci, bra, merci. Thank you, Ibra. Merci, Thank you, bra. especially Ibra. to Ibra. He's a fantastic player. I think that with every game he plays, he improves the character and personality of the team and he helps us to win games. Words of gratitude from Carlo Ancelotti as Zlatan Ibrahimovic once again guided PSG to victory. Indeed, the Parisians had an early scare away to Nancy with Benjamin Makanjo hitting the post in the opening minutes. But in the second half, Ibrahimovic showed the kind of thing he's capable of with this screaming drive from 35 yards. He then claimed the game's only goal in the 74th minute. Unable to slip the ball through to Menez, he took matters into his own hands and fired home for his 10th league goal of the season. 1-0 the final score, PSG remain top of Ligue 1. For the very first time, a Ligue 1 game was played out under a closed roof, as Lille welcomed Valenciennes to their Grand Stade for the Northern Derby. Lille got off to the ideal start with a goal in the first two minutes. Solomon Kalou's effort parried by keeper Nicolas Penateau, and Gaëtan Bong sliding into his own net under pressure from Nolan Roux. Valenciennes then had their work cut out after Carlos Sanchez picked up a second yellow card for this challenge on the half-hour mark. Lille made it 2-0 just before half-time as former Chelsea man Kalou found Dimitri Payet in space. Valenciennes did pull one back thanks to some inattentive defending from Marco Basha, 
Gael Danik nicking possession and squaring for Anthony Letale. But 2-1 to Lille at full time, which eases some of the pressure on coach Rudy Garcia. We're back in the top half of the table and we're continuing our good run. That's seven points from nine now, which is rather good. We have a game against Toulouse very soon and we also want to qualify for the next round of the Cup. So we'll do everything we can to recover quickly and hope that some of our players return from injury. Because frankly, at the moment, our doctor and our physio really have their work cut out. A first goal in Ligue 1 for Aïssa Mondi from this Antoine de Vaux corner to put Reims 1-0 up at home to Troyes. And a first goal in Ligue 1 for Fabien Camus from an Entercala cross to bring Troyes level. One all the final score as Troyes claim their first point of the season away from home. Veteran Benjamin Nivet spoke about the team's character just after the game. We've got a really solid group, and I'm not just saying that. We've only taken two points in eight games, but we're in this together. There's no criticism flying here and there, and that's important. We remain focused today, and I think that it's the mentality of the squad that will allow us to stay up this season. Because when you're in tough situations, it's good to have a solid group. We'll always be here, proclaimed the banners of the Saint Etienne supporters, who saw their team claim a 2 0 win over Rennes on Friday evening. They opened the scoring in the 22nd minute through Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with his sixth goal of the season inciting him to reveal his secret identity. That was followed up by this fine strike from Renaud Coad after half-time. Never first goal of the season from outside the area. A look ahead to next week then, with Brest and Lorient kicking off day 11 on Friday night. PSG hosts Saint-Etienne at Parc des Princes on Saturday, before Marseille head to Ajaccio and Lyon welcome Bastia on Sunday. Bordeaux and Toulouse round out proceedings on Sunday night.